I'm sure there's nothing better than that feeling, that feeling on the big stage. And uh, I can't experience that. But Vanya Shimpashankar, who won a couple years ago, one of the co-champs, you were on that big stage. Mm -hmm. And you had the chance to experience this whole thing. One of the things that, that stood out here is of the 291 spellers, 73 are return mm -hmm. uh, contestants here. Yeah. Um, on your fifth try, you had the chance to win here on this big stage. Yeah. What was that day like for you on that fifth try to know that you were going to be a co-champ here? Well, I woke up that morning, the night of the finals, and I just just thinking that I'm going to go out there and do my best. You know, I've spent so much time working on spelling. Five years at the national competition was, but I enjoyed every single moment of it. So every year coming back was amazing, and seeing all these kids coming back again and enjoying the experience just like I did is awesome. So I, I, I've heard a lot of stories from champions in the past that said they learn more from losing and coming back. Can you share that same experience? Oh, definitely. In 2014, I had, in 2013, actually, I had made it to the top 10, and I was, in, I was placed fifth. But then the next year, I didn't even make it to the finals. And so having that experience of not making it back motivated me more the next year. And I ended up coming here, having that open mind, having a little, a better outlook on the spelling bee and changing my methods a little bit. And I ended up winning that year. So I definitely learned a lot more from not doing as well as I would hope because it gave me a chance to reflect on what I had done that year. You're 15 now. You're getting ready for your junior year. What have you taken from this past experience to help you now in what you do every day at school? Well, I've taken so much especially things just like basic that you wouldn't expect, like focusing and setting a goal and working towards it. Definitely, I've learned so much from spelling, and I'm definitely going to use it for my whole life. What's the most important thing for these young kids here the next two days? Honestly, in my opinion, it's just to get their word right, where it's to try their best, obviously, yeah. and have fun. Mm -hmm. um, don't worry about the, the tiebreaker test or whatever. There's all these there's going to be new things added every year, but yeah. it's just their work, j their job to do their best and get their word right. Do you get nervous? Because I get nervous here for them. Do you get nervous when you watch them now? Yeah, I mean, I miss being up on that stage. <laughs> I wish I could go up there. Like, is there a champion bee or something? But no, I like watching them, and they're doing an amazing job. It's so great to be back here. Before we let you go, I'm sure our audience has followed you through the years. What's next for you? What, what do you want to do when you when, have you thought about college and, and expanding in your education? Well, you know, I've always been interested in the science field, maybe something medical, I don't know. But at the same time, I do a lot of theater at school. So if there's any way to, like, combine the two, but I don't know. We'll see. It's, it's good to always have a backup if For you sure. decide to do something For like sure. that. I can tell you, Lindsay, we've experienced this thing with Vanya a couple times. And she loves the bright lights, and she's clearly a natural oh, right thank here you so much. behind the microphone. Thank you. I want to remind everybody, uh, coming up next hour, we're talking to the family of the six-year-old prodigy who's going to be on the stage later on today. By the way, you could play along on ESPN3 right now. Lindsay? That's awesome. Thank you, Kevin, and congratulations again to you. What an amazing young woman. Hey, also, tonight on ESPN, you can see some amazing baseball, Wednesday Night Baseball.